Hope all you are well. Today I am going to start a chapter storing the work done on computer. So here we will discuss about memory and cache memory. So let's begin. So first all off, we must know what are storage devices. As we human beings are have brain to remember the things or to memorize the things. In same manner, computer also have some memory to store the things and the memory is divided as primary and secondary memory. Primary memory consists of RAM which stands for random access memory. The data which we enter through keyboard into the computer system first stored in random access memory. Random access memory is the primary memory and uh, this memory stores that data which we are currently doing work. This memory looks like the given figure. All of you have seen this thing so many times and this RAM memory is inserted into the motherboard to work upon it. Now we comes to secondary memory. Secondary memory stores the data from primary memory and secondary memory has some storage devices to store the data. So primary memory is RAM and after that data stores in storage devices which are known as secondary memory. So first of all we must know the main secondary memory inside the computer is in hard disk. Hard disk is the storage device and it has a memory of 120 gigabyte to 2 terabytes or it can be more. Some other storage devices are pen drive, CD, DVD and Blu-ray disk. All you have seen these storage devices in your daily life. But today we will discuss all these devices one by one. As all you know CD, DVD and Blu-ray disk looks very similar but all has different purpose. So first we come to the hard disk. Hard disk is placed inside the CPU. You can see it after opening the CPU cabinet. It looks like as shown in the given picture. This hard disk is permanently fixed in CPU cabinet but if you want to take this out it can be done very easily. Next storage device is CD that stands for compact disk. CD can store a large amount of data and it can be taken anywhere out of the out from the CPU. So it is very compact and easily can be moved from one place to another place. It stores text, graphics, sound, images and the media which used to run the CD is known as CD drive. Each storage device has some media to work for it. So CD drive is for compact disc. Compact disc is very popular nowadays for reading and writing purpose. Next comes DVD. DVD also looks very similar to compact disc. But it can hold much more information than CD. You need a DVD writer to transfer information onto a DVD. A DVD can store thrice or four times data than a CD. So 
now it is also have very much importance in the society it may be from 4 gb to 70 gb and next comes the google drive that is known as for cloud space google drive can be used to store information and you can retrieve information from google drive from anywhere in the world if you are using the internet online you can retrieve your data from google drive next is blu ray disc what are the advantages of these storage devices they are faster and have less access time and execute in very short period and they are temporarily used what are the disadvantages of these devices these devices have limited capacity and are very expensive so now what primary memory is stored in random access memory you can have a look on this how it looks like just look at this given picture so you can easily easily recognize what type of primary memory is and secondary memory secondary memory have some special characteristics we will discuss it one by one so first of all i want to tell primary and secondary memory both are important but you must be very informative about primary and secondary memory this is a floppy disk this is a hard disk and uh, next one is pen drive and this is a cd and this is a microprocessor chip so now comes cache memory you know very well cache is much faster than the ram cache memory is inside the cpu and is used for faster access of data